How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Car Collection back with another Mail Day Monday video. This week we're going through my PSA returns back in, well, quarter two. So from, what was it, April to June, they had a special where you could send in any card or really anything under, I think it was a 4x6, and you could get it encapsulated and authenticated, the autograph that is. Um, for $15 and that was if the card authentication fee was under $35 or the autograph authentication fee was under $35 so I sent in 22 cards most of them are TTM ones so some of them are really old and some of them are from the, the last year um, a couple I was really really surprised or I'm very curious to see what they are because I feel like some of them are go signed so <laughs> Out of 22, I don't know if this is thick enough or not. It's been a while since I've sent a PSA or to really anybody just because, you know, the turnaround times and stuff like that. I guess while talking, I should probably cut into this because it could take a second. So with all this incredibly thick tape. But yeah, I'm really curious. There's, there's a few in there where I'm like, if they are real, I'm going to be over the moon. So, you know, ones from like 15 years ago where you just get them back as a kid and you're like... Did this guy really sign this? Because if so, that is amazing. So, let's see. I'm hoping to get at least 20 of them authentic of the 22. But, let's flip that over so we can get a little bit of a surprise going. And it looks like... Oh, we got some in here. Oh, no. So, we got a bunch of authentic. And I'm going to go in the box and we're going we're gonna to start out with the duds. And it's actually thicker than I thought. It looks like we got... Four, maybe three, I don't know. At least three, maybe four. We'll cut in and let's see which ones didn't come back. Oh, that's tough. That's kind of surprising too, the Frank Gore. But Reggie Miller, I was super hoping this would be real. I sent this off um, back in like 2003. I don't know if it's stamped or if it's... I don't think it's stamped. I looked at it pretty hard. So it must just be ghost signed. Really funny, I felt pretty good about this one because it matched um, some PSA and Beckett authentic signatures of his. So, I don't know, maybe I'll have to do another look at it, but looks like this one's no good. So, they gave it, you know, that authentic question mark on that one. Put that one over here. And second one, I'm actually kind of surprised about it, Frank Gore. I got this back in 2007, I want to say I sent it to their training camp it was like a first edition of upper deck so these came out pretty early before the season and I actually got him a couple times over the years um so I guess he's just not authentic but this actually means there's a couple of really good ones in here too so this is it's actually a little promising you'll see when we get down to him but Frank Gore a little surprised um just because I got a couple back from him but I guess he has a ghost signer going on and then Joe Montana this one you know it was kind of just like I gotta try it. I got this one back in 2004, I think it was. Um, totally shocked when I got it back. He's actually from the uh, town over from my mom, so I wrote that in the letter. And I thought that kind of would have helped, you know, get a return back from him. But this must be ghost signed or secretarial signed or something like that. It looks like it's, you know, a fountain pen. There's no, uh, it doesn't look like a stamp at all. So, must have just been ghost signed, but... That's okay. I was totally expecting this one to be fake. Um, the Reggie Miller, I'm like, yeah, I thought it was a 50-50. The Frank Gore, I thought it was like an 80% chance. So this one kind of surprises me. Um, we'll put these off over here. That means we got 19 ones back. So that's not too bad. Richard Petty was where we're going to start, though, on this Allen and Ginter. So that looks really, really cool. Um, one of the things I noticed, I knew this going in. But the trading card thing, that's why I waited all the way till June. Because I was kind of back and forth on if I really wanted to, you know, run through it with the, the trading card. I really like when it says, like, you know, the 2012 Allen and Ginter. Um, and I know Beckett does that. So it might be sending some to Beckett. The reason I was a little hesitant at first with Beckett, and I know a bunch of guys that, that watch send to Beckett, is that they're thicker. They're, they're not twice as thick, but they're pretty thick. And when I'm like trying to store these away, um, it just kind of saves space. But I think I'm going to jump on that Beckett train here pretty soon. But Richard Petty, 
everyone seems to send to him. Really want to just test and see if they were, you know, if they were good to go because he's such a quick turnaround. Um, so really happy with this one. Richard Petty, really cool return. I'm going to start having to put them up over here, I guess. Let's actually get this little foam out of the way here. As you can tell, I'm a little bit of a rookie at these, this reveal. But this second one, pretty cool, guys. Got this one like 15 or 16 years ago in the blue ballpoint pen, it looks like. Pete Rose, how cool is that one? I don't think he signs TTM anymore. I know he signs in Vegas for a fee, but that's a really cool one. That's one. This is one where I was like, might be fake or it might be go signed. So really pumped about this one. Pete Rose, that's awesome. He's going to get a stand. We're going to put him right there. All right. Shout out to Hoss of Cards. CC Sabathia on the Indians card from 2007. Heritage. Yep. Pretty sweet, guys. No, I'm sorry. 2006. Look at how sweet that is, though. Definite Hall of Famer, in my opinion. Got his 3,000 strikeouts. So he helped the Yankees win a World Series after signing that massive deal. That's a great looking card. I mean, I'm not going to have space to display all these, but that's okay. Let's see what we got next. So another one. This is a Topps um, gallery. Ryan Sandberg. People send to him all the time. I wanted to make sure, you know, everything was on the up and up. So everything's looking good there. Blue ink looks great. That's a great looking card. So we'll move on to the next one. Already at six minutes, seven minutes here. How about Tony Larusa? Had this Allen and Ginter. I just got this one recently. So um, three of these so far have been recent returns, and then these two are older. So I sent this to CC back in 2007, I think it was. Um, but here's Tony Larusa. Just sent this one off this spring. And it's authentic. I sent this one. I've got three of his through the mail over the years. But this is the fullest signature I've gotten of his. So that's why I sent this one. But that's a pretty cool looking card. And next we got George Kell. He is unfortunately deceased. I sent this out 15 or so years ago. 16 years ago maybe. Um, dang, quite a while ago. So these are these all-time great cards. I used to insert these in like a bunch of uh, repackaged products and stuff like that. But he's a Hall of Famer, 1983, same year as one of my favorite guys, Brooks Robinson. Thought this looked really good with the blue ink and really cool. I've got a couple of his autos for my Hall of Fame autograph collection. We'll put him down here. And we're going to continue with that set with Duke Snyder, guys. I got this one a long time ago. I actually got him to sign... A couple cards and a photograph I sent to him a couple times, like from 2002 to 2005, I think it was. It's another one of those all-time great cards. Looks fantastic, slabbed up. So we'll put that one here. It goes with the same set. I'm shocked this came back authentic. I seriously thought this was Go signed. Jose Canseco signed this last October. There was a quick, like, three-week period where he was signing for $5 per through the mail then he started sending tweets out saying I don't accept anything anymore you know this I don't live there this and that and I sent him another one just before I saw that tweet it was an 86 tops rookie traded card um never got it back so that card and the money is gone forever I think but I honestly after that experience I thought this was go signed but it is that's awesome so Jose Canseco love it and another guy everybody gets back it seems mike musina love his signature love the blue ink um right when i first started watching baseball the orioles were my team and mike musina was my favorite pitcher so really happy to get this one slabbed up i'm gonna have to start you know covering guys up here unfortunately how about andre dawson another guy sent to right when i first started ttming again uh back in october so really, really nice. Love these Gypsy Queens signed. And Goose Gossage. There's another Gypsy Queen. I like how they put the Rich Goose up here. Gossage as opposed to just Goose Gossage or, you know, Rich Gossage. And we're going to continue that Gypsy Queen trend with Wade Boggs. Really, really nice. Check that out. 
So, got them all the way across now, all of our Gypsy Queens. We're going to move to another year of Gypsy Queen and go on a run of those. Paul Molitor. It's kind of funny because I sent, like, you know, cards and runs like this. I thought that maybe the authenticator would look at it and be like, oh, he just had a set of cards and was signing them himself. So, I don't know why I had that little moment in my head after I sent these out, but there's a Paul Molitor. Looks really good. He just raised his fee up, I think, to $30 from 20 Jim Palmer. I was skeptical of Jim Palmer, and I probably should not have been. Um, I really enjoy listening to him on Mass and calling the Orioles games. He is a really good, um, you know, commentator because he always says how it is. He he does not sugarcoat it. The Orioles are terrible, and he calls that out all the time. Um, and he was, of course, a phenomenal pitcher. So, really happy to get this signed. The only reason I was skeptical is because people his address is out in California, and while he was working for Mass and in Baltimore, returns were coming back. So I think it. Whenever he had a couple days, he must be flying back to California getting his mail. So, really happy this came back authentic. Juan Marichal. Love his signature. Another Gypsy Queen there. Looks great. And we're going to continue that run. Jim Rice. This is one of the first ones I sent out. He recently just raised his fee, I think, from 10 to $20. So, happy to get this one in. Happy to get it slabbed up. Let's see, we got three more to go, guys. There is a big one in there, too. And it's coming up after Bobby Bowden. Check that one out. Got this one back in December. I mean, great, great, great college football coach. Really helped change the game. So, really awesome. This one, guys, is from, like, goodness. It's from 2007. I sent it to Cowboys training camp, I think think if I can remember correctly and it came back real Terrell Owens man that looks sweet I thought this was going to be just I didn't think this one was going to be real like if I had to switch them out I would have assumed this one would be real and this one would not be and it's funny because I sent them out at the same time this one to training both of them off to the training camp so that's really really cool I am super pumped. This is going straight into my display case after this video is over. This card is awesome. Love it. I mean, I don't see too many Terrell Owens autographs out there. Um, and I was shocked when I got it. And then as I got older, I was like, this obviously is not real. It had to have been go-signed. So really pumped that PSA deemed it authentic. That is awesome. And one more, guys. This is actually the only non-TTM one in there. Chuck Knoll. I picked this up at a card show, like, back in 2005, I think it was, for 10 bucks. It might have even been, like, 2003 or two, but it was, like, 10 bucks, and I was like, hey, Chuck Knoll, why not? I'm a big Steelers fan. So, it was one of those ones where it's like, why would you fake it? But kind of just wanted to, you know, check it out because I didn't see it get signed. I didn't mail it off. His signature looks spot on, but... Just kind of wanted to, you know, get that that verification. So, pretty good. I mean, that was worth the money, I think. So, I mean, I think each card came in at around $17 and some change. Um, some of the ones, I really... If I would have expected it, I probably would have changed out the T.O. and the Canseco for the Reggie Miller and the Frank Gore. If I would have thought... If I would have had to guess on what was authentic... So really pumped that those both came back real. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one was your favorite? I probably have to go with the T.O. Just because it, it was the one I was... Behind the Joe Montana, it was the one I was the second most skeptical of. And so I'm kind of shocked it came back authentic. And then probably I'd follow by the Pete Rose. So the only reason I sent it off to Pete Rose is because... Uh, he was my dad's favorite player, or one of his favorite players. And this was like, this was a long time ago I sent this one off. So, these are probably my favorite too. But, let me know what your guys' favorite is. Um, really happy with, with you know, just this whole service. But, I definitely think I'm going to have to jump on Beckett soon. Um, just because of the whole trading card thing, it kind of is a little... It's not as cool as I thought it would be. 
I guess is what it is. They used to do it where they'd put out the, the set name and everything, but they got away from that because I think some people were sending in uh, fake cards or reprints and trying to pass them off as real, and I just think PSA decided they want to deal with it anymore. And another thing about Beckett I recently learned too is I believe they are the only, um, I don't know, case that has some UV protection. So I do display a lot of my cards. I do, don't put them in the sun, of course, but I think that would, you know, kind of be cool. But sorry for the ramble on there at the end, guys. Thank you for checking this out with me, this little reveal. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all tomorrow and through the mail Tuesday. Hope you all had a great weekend and hope you all have a great week. Thanks. Bye.